Hello, hello, hello. We are up early this morning. How y'all doing? It is Friday. Is it the 12th? I think it's the 12th. I think it is Friday the 12th. I'm looking over here at my computer. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Thank you so much for supporting my channel. For real, for real. Because I see y'all on the replay. As y'all going back and forth to work. And going about your business. Let me see what the day is. I think it's um, the 12th. Gotta check by the... Yep, today is April the 12th. And it is Friday. And we're getting started early today. Yes, it's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. Peels and nasal spray. It's that time. And it's also that time of year where you wake up sounding like a frog. <laughs> I did have all my windows open. Well, not all of them, but one above me. And one in my office. I'm just going to do this to pull my hair back. So I don't have to worry about that. And, um. Remember what I told y'all about the, um, NYX? I put some on yesterday. Look at them brows. I'm just ready. Already ready. <laughs> Lord, I need to make sure I go online. I need affiliate code. That's what I need. But, um, I got a long day ahead of me today. So I'm going to be honest with you. I was getting ready to do a little turn and get some old sleep. But I changed my mind. <laughs> Again, I wanted to set my real camera up so I could use my phone as a reference. But what I found out was this is the base that I screw my camera on. And this little piece is stuck. So I need to see if I can go like in my toolbox to see if I can find something that would grip this and I can turn it a little bit because I can't put my camera on here. So again, I'm just using my phone. I'm just using my phone and we are on day number 12 of going live. I did post my declutter video yesterday. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. When this video is, when this live is over, I'll also post it in the um, comment section. Now, I see I got some controls over here. I'm not quite sure what they mean, so I better not press them. Oh, I think one is I can mute. <laughs> yeah, I can mute. But the other one looks like a, um, what does it say? Oh, highlight. Okay, so they got a part where you can highlight. And then one looks like a filter. Okay. Okay. Whew. So, we are almost halfway to my birthday halfway it's the 12th and you know yesterday i didn't like my makeup it was we got over 70 finally in my area we got over 70 and I didn't like my makeup. 
it was um too much going on too much too much and it's too much going on in the news child i can't even talk about everything that i have seen come across my timeline because it's too much like it's a whole lot of stuff going on now the first thing i heard yesterday when i was at work was about this instagram lady who annihilated her whole family. Sorry if I'm making noise. I'm trying to be careful and, you know, choose my words correctly because I don't want to get in trouble. Like, we used to just get on YouTube and just talk. You could say whatever you wanted to say. But um, now you have to be careful about the words you use. But... There's this lady that um, is all over TikTok, African-American girl, because she annihilated her entire family and did away with herself. Well, she thought she did. Young lady, too. Um, they're saying she was big into astrology. And y'all listen, this is an old lady point of view, okay? So I'm going to tell it like an old lady. I can't tell it like no news person. All I can do is talk like I can talk. But um, she annihilated her partner, a young man. And then she came home picked up her two children, which were like, one of them was months old, maybe like 10 months old and a nine year old. Put them in a car, went on a high speed chase of like a hundred miles an hour, pushed the children out of the car one by one. The nine-year-old was trying to hold on to the baby. Maybe it was the car seat or something. I don't know. It's just what I'm hearing. All this alleged. Once she got the nine-year-old out, then she pushed the baby out. The baby went on to glory immediately. The mother continued to drive into a pole and eliminate herself. And they're saying that she was, her brain was really fixated and wired on the effects of this eclipse. Now, I ain't seen nobody else lose their mind because of this eclipse, but maybe she had some additional issues that was going on. And the eclipse was just the tip of the iceberg. I don't know. But rest in peace and my condolences to everyone involved in that situation that is very tragic where somebody gets rid of their whole family kids and all so I, and I don't even know what state that was in I could barely listen to the story because it was so tragic. But um, that is what I heard. And after that, everything was just popping off yesterday. Everything was just popping off. 
Okay, so I got that on. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. I got my order from Sephora. Wait a minute. Oop. Pull these little shorts down. <laughs> I still got on my pajamas. <laughs> my order from sephora came in and i got um my new moisturizer i need to put that on so from sephora i got their brow pencils which are the sephora ones which i always stock up on i did get some more makeup forever because i've been using this little trial for the longest so this time they have a pressed powder. It's a micro finish press. It's in the same form, but it's in pressed powder form. Love this because I use this under my eyes. And this will be good to travel and you don't have to worry about powder getting everywhere. I might go back and get me another one. No, I think I'm just gonna put my powder in my travel case and keep this one here. I would put this in travel, but I'm not because I don't travel that much. So it would just be sitting. So I think I'm going to put this in my travel case. And this is my new moisturizer. I love it. It is the Tula Bright Start Vitamin C Antioxidant Brightening Moisturizer. Oh, I never opened it up from the bottom. This I didn't even know it could open. <laughs> but you get 1.7 ounces. And I'm going to go ahead and use this today for my moisturizer. Mm. And I'll make sure I start that at the bottom. Mm. Then I saw another story. I didn't even listen at it or check into it about two influencers regarding ending people's lives. Oh, there's one about the Grayson. I got to do some um, refreshing on that case because there's a young lady of Grayson. Y'all probably already heard about her because um, she's already in jail <laughs> i think they or maybe she's going through trial i'm not sure but i think they was um locking her up or her trial was going while she was pregnant because she put a hit out on somebody look y'all we really need to stop playing games it is not that serious for anybody. I'm just going to um, tighten this one up a little bit because it's looking a little light. Just going to tighten it up a little bit. And the key to this for me is I put it on my hairs first. I just lightly go across my hairs because it's pigmented. That's for sure. At least, or maybe I shouldn't have got the black one, but I did get a dark color. But that's because, you know, mostly with drugstore brands, you got to go strong with them. You got to go strong with them because you don't know. And see, I'm just moving some of this around. I moved some to the front. Ooh, girl, y'all didn't have to do that. Look at this. Y'all didn't have to do that, NYX. You didn't have to do that. That, and I actually put some over here. So let me get some more. And put it over here. Y'all didn't have to do that NYX. So this does, re this does require a little learning curve. When it comes to using it. And here I am trying to be a little extra. For no reason but... Might as well play with my products. 
Today is going to be a long day for me. I have extra projects I got to go check on today. So I'm trying to just enjoy myself for right now. So that's the main story going around. I think that um, story about the TikTok astrology lady has made itself to Instagram as well. I saw some people talking about it. Um, I think a lot of people know her from X. But you know what? Ever since they changed Twitter to X, I haven't even been on there. They probably removed my account. Do y'all use Twitter? Let me know. Anybody still using actively using Twitter? Now, you know what I know is if anything go wrong with my phone, my bank, or my social media accounts, I used to go to Twitter to see what was going on. But since they changed it to X, I haven't had to do that. Because I just didn't set up the, that account, I guess, when they changed it over. Just clearing up a little... Um, And you know what? I heard about another case, but this took, case took place in the Bronx where this young lady killed her mother. Yes. Now, I can't talk about it too much because I don't forget. But what I can remember, I think the young lady had some mental health issues. And her and her mother maybe got into it one day. I can't remember. And, um, she, I didn't mean to say that word. She took her mother's life. Lord, Renee, get, get it right now. You can't talk like you normally talk. In case some of y'all don't know, there's a lot of words we can't say no more on um, YouTube. So, whew. Let me slide down my timeline. And see what else been going on. What we gonna yap about. I know one thing. I am happy it is Friday day. Today I'm not gonna wear any liquid foundation. Because lately it seems my foundation hasn't been soaking in my skin. It's laying on top. Let me go to Pat today. I'm gonna go to Pat. I'm going to see if Pat can't get me right. Now, I'm going to touch on this real quick, but I'm not going to touch on it heavy. That's the same thing. Duh. Because I don't know what's going on in this situation. Uh, but I saw Daddy B and Lily making videos, so I guess they... Trying to just trying to figure things out. They're young. They're just trying to figure things out. I don't know what's going on with them. Or maybe it's nothing. Maybe this is all just for entertainment purposes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, honey. And I thought I had some good cruise ship updates. But I haven't heard any cruise news this week. Other than about a young boy or young man who jumped off of a ship. They've been looking for him for one week. I hope that he is found well. I think they said his family was, I'm not gonna say not as concerned, but they know that he's a diving expert. So they don't know if he did this just for attention or if he's no longer with us. But from what I can understand from looking at the video, there was an incident where a couple of teenage fellas was, you know, cruising with their family. And they end up drinking 
on the cruise. And um, you know how, I mean, I ain't going to even say how young people, I mean, I remember, and don't get disgusted by this, but I remember as a, a young person at home, after your parents had a parties, you go down there and see what was left in the cups. Okay. That's what is basically being speculated that these young people was doing on the cruise ship. They were seeing what was left in the cups. You you know what I'm talking about. And they got happy about it. <laughs> well, when the parents found out, there was an altercation. And I guess one of the guys, you know, said he going to show everybody and he going to jump off the ship. And he jumped eight floors or something off the ship. And there had to be a full-blown search. And after a week, the search was called off. So in layman's terms, they haven't found that young man. Y'all, stop going on these folks' cruise ships playing games. Okay? A cruise ship is nowhere to do something new. Okay? <laughs> a cruise ship is nowhere to um, see if you try any acrobatics that you've never done before. You don't go on a cruise ship and do all that foolishness right there. Because don't you know that we are just a mi minute, micro, small, 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 small dot in what's called the world? <laughs> and if you get out there jumping in that water, it's only so much that can be done. Only so much. So I hope the family is right that he is found and to be well. But it didn't cause for all of that because, you know, you got mad because you got caught drinking on a cruise ship. It didn't cause for you to do all that jumping in the water to try to make a statement. So that's what I heard about in the cruise news about that young boy who jumped in the uh, water. Because he got mad, his family found out he was drinking on the cruise ship. Come on, people. Come on. Come on, come on. And I'm going to tell you a funny story about me. Um, we used to always go on vacation to Vegas, New Orleans, I used to go to New York every year and then the islands. Those would be our key spots that we would go on vacation every year. And I'm not saying all of them every year. Like one year we would do New Orleans as a family. One year we'll do Vegas as a family, as a large family. And one year we'll go to the islands. We will switch it up. <laughs> Well, one year we was in New Orleans and I had my young children and they were teenagers. And you know, when you're in New Orleans, you just walk up and down the strip, see what's going on, stuff like that. Just like Vegas and other places. And I let the kids go walking up and down the strip or they sneaked out, I don't know what it was. But I find out later that, and I didn't know, it was half-naked women standing outside the clubs in New Orleans trying to make people come in the clubs at night. So if your kids is walking around, that's what they're going to see at night. <laughs> I had no idea. That's how they did it. <clears throat> So, you see a lot of stuff when you're on vacation. You got to be careful with your children. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. 
So that's what I heard about um, in cruise news. Let me slide down here and see what else is um, going on. Um, I oftentimes scan across the, the YouTube YouTuber's channel, LaShawn Will. And um, I think I used to watch her more when she was living in her camper trailer. And because she's actually a singer, um, she started out, well, I don't know what she started, but I learned of her from LL Cool J's song, Doing It, Doing It, Doing It Well. She's that voice. And she came on YouTube sharing her journey about living in her tiny home, which was a um, trailer, and her marvelous decorating ideas she did on her trailer. She did an awesome job. Like, everybody wanted to interview her and ask her questions and get her insight about how to decorate. Well, she has since since sold her trailer and moved to uh, Mexico. She's living in Mexico. So she, um, um, and she no longer, you know, lives tiny. She has her own little, like, apartment or area to live in Mexico. And she's renovating that. So the idea about home decor and stuff like that, as far as her channel, continues on the theme of her channel. She's just doing it, showing you how you can do it in another country. LaShawn Will. She did a video yesterday about what YouTube paid her as a D-list celebrity. And this was a year for 2023. And she did move to Mexico um, last year. Her channel took a dive because, you know, she built her channel on redecorating a trailer to make it a home. And I think she did two trailers. So most of the people that follow her channel was really liking her decorating ideas. When she moved to Mexico, it was like a whole period of time of her showing her selling everything and everything so she could move to Mexico. So she actually took, a, her channel took a hit because she lost um, a few subscribers because she made that transition. So she was just going through, you know, showing her, um, her analytics and numbers and things like that. And for one year on YouTube, um, and she got, um, she got quite a few subscribers. I think she has about 12, um, oh, 16,000. She currently has 16,000 subscribers. Um, but for one year, for 2013, she made 2,500 dollars on YouTube for one year. And she, um, I appreciate her showing it. I mean, it is money coming in. I mean, you can get you a new camera. <laughs> you can buy you a few things for your YouTube channel. But I appreciate her transparency. Um, she, Her channel got hit for a couple of reasons. When you move to out of the United States, your channel is not as promoted as much by YouTube. That's something I never thought of. So if you're thinking of moving out the country, your channel is not going to get pushed as much as it may have before. Um, also, the fact that, um, you know, she lost some subscribers. And she went behind the scenes on her channel and showed us the actual, her CPMs, RPMs, all that stuff. And it's different per video, too. You might make $8 per click on one video, and another video you might make $26 per click. So I really appreciate her, you know, transparency. And even if you make $1,000 a year on YouTube, where else can you come and just sit down and talk and make a coin? <laughs>
Where else? Where else? So, some of these people on, on here have to do some of the most outrageous things in order to stay relevant. Like I've seen some women who started out as be beauty gurus and now they do um, blogs and they halfway naked in their blogs. And just know that they have to do that in order to keep people's attention. They have to and it's what keeps the lights on at their house. So they have to continue to raise the bar on their content so that people will watch. Like, I know one girl, every time she comes on YouTube, her, her, her buttons on her robe, one of them is always open or two. And she's always pulling up a pair of pants showing you how she put on her pants in every video. I mean, we done seen you put your pants on before. Can't you do it sometime where you already had the pants on? No. Every time she come on YouTube, she got to show you her with the robe open, one or two buttons. And y'all know as women, you know when your clothes is open. Y'all need to stop acting like that. And she got to show you pulling up her pants. Because she's trying to make sure she gets um, people's attention. It no longer works for her channel where she can um, sit down and do makeup. She got to raise the bar. And they'll make it seem like, oh, I just want to show you this new outfit I bought or something like that. But there's always a hint of sexuality in the videos because they, they they have to get the numbers to feed their family. I'm not hating. I'm just saying I remember when you was a neck up. Like what I'm doing is neck up. I remember when you was a neck up. Now, you full body and you have to expose. Now, I hope, I didn't use all that Pat McGrath. I just used that much. But I'm hoping that this will sort of seep into my skin today. When I wore that House Labs yesterday, it sat on the top of my skin. It didn't give me no justice. So I appreciate LaShawn Will. You can check her out. She's here on YouTube. She got some real popular videos. Like her videos have gotten 50, 60,000 views. But I just thought it was interesting that even with those views, you're not making a yearly salary. She only made $2,000 for 2023. And to me, I think some people are moving to other countries so that they can get better views on YouTube. Because I've seen people who say, leaving the United States, going here, you know, trying to make a sensational title so that they can get more people to watch their videos. But if, if YouTube doesn't promote your videos the same once you leave, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Let me put that up here. Let me put this. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit. We're getting rain in my area, so they say. Downpours. I just got a flood warning. All types of stuff. It's not raining yet. And I really got to make sure I, um, I get out here and get my recycle outside. Because these recycle people where I live do not play. They will sneak up at 6 o'clock in the morning and call themselves grabbing your recycle, knowing half the people ain't got up and put their recycle out. Or maybe they just did that for the Easter holiday. But I saw them on the camera early in the morning doing some recycle, and I missed them twice myself because I wasn't ready. They switched up on your girl. 
I was not ready. So I did not put my recycle out last night because it was windy and it was raining. And I didn't want that container with a bunch of boxes to fold over, to fall over. So I'm going to put it out um, this morning. What y'all going to do today? I'm going to try this new powder. Put it right here, just up under my eye. And let this sit. I'm getting ready for work, and I am so glad it is Friday. Ah, it's been a rough week. Next week might be a little more interesting. I'm on call, so I know I'm going to be juggling a lot of stuff next week, too. But I saw some videos about young M.A. Talking about how somebody was after her. Shabba Ranks. Talking about what really happened to Shabba Ranks. I don't know. I couldn't take time to watch it. But um, I might go back today because it's in my history. So while I'm at work, I might go back and watch that. And um, everybody talking about Ray Janae and her new boo, honey. Y'all, let that girl live. <laughs> You know what happened, Nate? Perfect Nails? I got up at 3 or 3.30. And I was just laying around, looking at some videos in the bed, scrolling TikTok, just going through all the things. And next thing I know, it was 4, okay? So when 4 hit, I know, I was like, I really want to turn over and get some more sleep when four o'clock hit. But I said, if I do, I'm going to miss going live. So I jumped up. I got I got on here early today, about four, four o'clock. I got on here early so I wouldn't go back to sleep. But, um... Yeah, it was, I don't know if, I know that that was an incident about, you know, she had a health scare not too long ago, but I did see a video where it sounded like she was saying she was coming up out of it, but it was going to take a long while. And it's interesting because one video I saw, she was in a wheel, a wheelchair. Mm, girl, get the words out. I can't even get the words out. <laughs> The allergies have my throat in a chokehold. I was telling my daughters yesterday that um, when it comes to allergy season, I just notice it in my throat and I sneeze. I know everybody have different symptoms and I'm glad I'm not the one that have to wipe my nose every five minutes. Because, you know, wiping your nose will make your nose irritated. And then you got to put Vaseline, got all these things you got to go through. But I have an itchy, scratchy throat. And it's like, no matter what I drink, I have drank water, milk, soda. Um, I had an acai, acai bowl the other day to try to calm my throat down. And if one of my coworkers was watching this video right now, she would say, I told you to drink some throat coat. <laughs> she would always remind me when I had irritations in my throat to get this tea called throat coat. <laughs> and I think I probably have one downstairs, so I might try it this morning. But you know what, Perfect Nails, I, it's been cold. I'm on the East Coast. It was cold last week, like 30s and 40s cold. I didn't think the allergies could come when it was cold like that. But mine's actually started last week in the cold. Throat coat is a tea. 
that you get at the grocery store, um, wherever you find, you know, Lipton tea at, is one of those medicinal teas called Throat Coat. And it actually tastes like, this is probably why I don't do it. Because to me, I don't know about to other people, it tastes like licorice. And I can't stand licorice. <laughs> the black, the red, that gooey, oh, I hate licorice. But it does have licorice root in it and licorice is good for your throat. <laughs> I'm going to tell you another thing I can't stand. And we had a huge debate at work when we used to go to the office. And it was probably around this time because sometime when it was lunchtime, we would jump in each other's car and we would go to the local um, restaurant in the area and get something to eat. Well, one day we jumped in, I don't know whose car we was in, and we got to talking about Easter candy. Okay. Think about the old-fashioned Easter candies. And I was in the car with an African lady, a lady from um, Ghana. I was in a car with an Asian lady. I don't know what country she's from, but she's from Asia. And it was myself, Golden Girls. <laughs> and we was talking about old-fashioned Easter candy. And the Asian lady said she loved Peeps. Peeps. P-E-E-P-S. Is that what they call those marshmallows? Oh my gosh. This marshmallow candy. It looked like little chickens or something stuck together. I, is it called Peeps? See, I can't look at my phone. But I think that's what they call it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I can't stay... <laughs> can't stand peeps but I was the only one everybody else loves peeps and the Asian lady she's younger than me now she's about 10 years younger than me so she has small children and she was giving me the whole shebang about how you do how you do your peeps she said that when you get peeps you have to open the container a little bit and let them get a little old, and then they're really good. Like, the way she was trying to explain it, and I have never eaten them that much to know that's what you got to do. But the way she was trying to explain it was like, if you open up the container and let them get exposed a little bit, it makes them a little, it gives them a little crunch on it, and then you have the marshmallow inside, like, her and her kids had it down to a science about how they eat these peeps. <laughs> and I felt so out of sorts because I did not know that people from other countries love the same things that we love. Maybe they had peeps in Asia, but they called it something different. I'm not sure. But she said her and her kids, they love peeps. Is there a candy out there? Y'all put it in the comments if you're on the replay. Is there a candy out there that you can't stand? I can't stand licorice. I cannot stand licorice. And what's that candy with the raisins in the inside? Raisinets? Mm -mm. I can't. I'll eat a raisin and I'll eat chocolate. But not them together. What's some candies or some sweet things that a lot of people like that you can't stand? I know it's I know it's peeps for me. It's something else I can't think of it right now. Good off the bat. <laughs> Who there's another one too. There's a um I don't know what they call this candy that comes out for Easter. But it's hard on the inside and it's some white fluff on it. It's hard on the outside and it's some white fluff on the inside. And they usually come in Easter colors like pink or blue or yellow or stuff like that. I can't stand that one either. 
But um, I'm trying to do something a little different with my makeup because I did not like it yesterday. It was sitting on top of my skin instead of absorbing in my skin. So, and yesterday I had on the, I did a full face using the House Labs. And I'm not going to say it's the foundation because this has done me better. So I'm going to keep practicing. It could have been the way I applied it. It could have been that. That's what I was doing. I apply, I may have put on too much. Because I notice sometimes when I go to Sephora and Ulta and things like that, they'll put one little line right there and blend it all over the whole side of your hair and face. Ooh. Ooh, my finger's a little sticky. Yeah, that was my um, foundation that I tried over the winter when it came out. Was the House Labs. And I actually went back and got another one. I just gotta, I just gotta work on my application. I got um, 340W and 415. One is a winter color. Yeah, you can really see. And one is a summer color. And the reason why I went back is because I liked it so good. I wanted to be able to make sure I had could use it in both seasons. But I got to... Um, practice on my application. Now, today I used my um, Pat McGrath. And you know, Pat is really thin. It's a really thin consistency um, foundation. And I put a pump and a half. And I only use like one pump for my whole face. So maybe I need to practice that with the um, house lab. I have not tried that. A lot of people have been talking about the Dior. I have not tried that. Go ahead, alerts. Go ahead, alerts. Let me slide up a little bit more and see what else is going on. But yeah, I did hear that um, that, was, that was something too, that young mom was having some health issues. But um, I did see a video where she said that, you know, she went and got checked out. She's under doctor's care. They're doing some things. But a, <clears throat> a video came out less than 24 hours ago talking about her fate, talking about somebody's after her. So I can't wait to watch that today to see exactly what's this going on. Or is this just somebody trying to get some clicks and views? Now, sometimes... Y'all see these videos, and these people are just trying to get clicks and views, especially some of these AI videos. They will say anything. Like, somebody put up a short, and they did a picture of Beyonce's children. Now, of course, I looked, because I never seen the twins. I never have seen these twins. So I wanted to see if I could see the twins. When I clicked on the video... It was a picture of Blue Ivy big, Blue Ivy as a baby, and another random child. And the people was going ham in the comments. They was like, this is not even... <laughs> this is not even Beyonce's child right here. And you got two pictures of Blue, just at different stages. So that's when I, that's when I said, you know what? You can't trust everything you see. You can't trust it. You can't trust everything you see. On this um, app right here. People post anything for a click. Yeah, people post anything for a click. Oh. And it was something else I was going to talk about now and completely forget. Oh, yeah. I heard that um, O.J. Simpson passed. I'm just going to type it in right quick because I don't have my... Um, O.J. Simpson passed away due to cancer the other day. Rest in peace to him. Um... 
But what I was thinking when I was reading, because I was reading the news articles, because, you know, I saw it flash on TikTok, so the first thing I did was Google it to see if it was true. And I just wanted to ask y'all out there, just put some feelers out there, see what y'all know. Do anybody else know a Orenthal? <laughs> Have you heard anybody else name Orenthal? Child, that was the man's name. Orenthal. James Simpson. That's where they get the OJ from. And when I was reading his Wikipedia, I was like, I don't think I have ever heard anybody else named Oren Thaw. <laughs> yeah, he passed away yesterday, I think, at uh, was 76 years old. Uh, and um, some reports were saying that he was in um, hospice care. I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but. I was just reading it and I was like, wow, that is a unique name. I don't think I've heard anybody else. And it's long too. It's about eight letters or so long. Orenthal. Orenthal? I'm just trying to see how the teacher would have said it. Orenthal, raise your hand. Put your hand down, Orenthal. You gotta go to the bathroom, Orenthal. Like, damn. No wonder he went by O.J. Oh. I heard they had some creams that had caffeine in it, too. And caffeine is a stimulant, so... Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Did Good Molecules got something with caffeine in it? I think so. You like that name? Orenthal. Like, you would never get mixed up. <laughs> you would never get mixed up with anybody else. <clears throat> and you know why this really stuck out to me? is because I just heard about him passing yesterday. I swear my hand to God, about two to three days ago, I was looking at a video about his grown children and how, um, you know, when they was going through the case and everything like that, how they was requesting to live with their father, but the wife's family wanted to keep the kids with, um, with them. It was talking about his net worth. It was talking about the book he wrote. I don't even know what video, like what, how I got stuck on that video. But I kid you not, that was less than two or three days ago. And then I get this word. I don't know why I'm doing all this today and it's supposed to be raining. <laughs> so I'm going to be covered up. I'm going to be covered up all day. But uh, I know I got a meeting at work, so I'm going to have to cut on the camera. So I usually spruce myself up a little bit when I got to cut on the camera. So I might as well go ahead with this NYX gloss. <laughs> yeah, he was born in... Uh, 1947. But I don't think young people call that, you know, do names like that anymore. I mean, do people even name their children Robert anymore? And how did they ever get Bob from William? Somebody really need to explain that. <laughs> How did they ever reduce William to Bob? 
It must have been somebody famous or something. I don't know. I need to Google that. How did they get Bob as a nickname for William? Mm. And I wonder if I was living. I mean, I remember that day when OJ was all on the highway. It was almost like the world stopped and we was all watching this chase on the highway. And now that I think about it, this was a grown man in a Ford Bronco riding around in California. And he wasn't up front. Wasn't he in the back? I think he had his best friend driving or his um, assistant was driving, was a man driving. I'm like, we was really watching a grown man in a police chase before the TV shows. You know, they got a bunch of YouTube channel TV shows now about police chase. OJ Simpson was probably the first one I seen in real life. Cause he didn't want to turn himself in so you don't remember yeah when was that um police chase he was convicted in 2008 yeah yeah so that was a long time ago yeah he was convicted in 2008 was it 2008 mm. I think so. I don't know. That seemed like that was been recently, though. 2008 don't seem like it's too far. But it is. It's 20-something. That was almost 20 years ago. And that's when he had that high-powered attorney that passed away, too. Was he convicted or was he convicted? Now I'm seeing all these news stories. It wasn't too far. <laughs> it wasn't too far. But you know one thing about O.J. Simpson, you don't never hear nobody else saying, like, that was my brother, that was my son. Like, I don't, I don't I've never seen any of his other family. He wrote a book about what happened. They snatched his money, gave it to the family on the cold. Somebody stole all his stuff. He tried to get it back. He got in trouble for that. Yeah, still in his own memorabilia. But what I'm thinking is, why would he even want that stuff after he, he had been to jail? And when he came out, maybe it must have been worth something. Maybe it was worth something. But yeah, he was at a hotel. Was they auctioning it off or something? And he tried to get it back. So when I see this conviction in 2009, I don't know if that was um, because of the, the wife incident ending her life or was it because of the hotel um, incident? I'm looking up here, and this man had one, two, three, four, five. He had five children. He had been married twice. Nicole was between 85 and 92. And before that, he was married to Marguerite Whitley in the 60s to 70s. So, and then they list his parents right here. But, um, let's, do, they, do they do a timeline? They do a lot on his football career. He played for the Buffalo Bills. I don't know anything about that football. Okay, so what's this right here? Film credits. Oh, he was in a lot of films. Like, almost every year. He was in a film. Now, I didn't know that. He was in Ironside Medical Center, Cades County, Here's Lucy, 
He was in the Klansmen. He was in the Towering Inferno, Killer Force, Killer Affair. He was in Roots. He was in Roots in 77. He was in Firepower. Like, almost every year he was in a movie. Yeah, he was in Roots. He was in Roots as um, Candy Torre. So he was in movies from 1968 all the way up to 2018. The last movie he was in was called, oh, he made these movies himself, Juiced by O.J. Simpson, Jail, and Who is America. Those were TV episodes. Some of them were TV episodes. So was he a football player or was he an actor? But, um, oh, at 19, he was married to Marguerite. Mm hmm And they had three children. Yeah. And, um, oh, let me see. He was, um, at age 19, he married Marguerite. Together they had three children. And, oh, did she drown? Oh, no, one of, or one of the children. One of the children drowned in the family swimming pool. And then in 77, he met, well, that's 10 years difference. He met, oh, he met, he met Nicole Brown, although still married to his first wife. There you go. Simpson began dating Brown. And then they divorced in 79. So for two years, there was an overlap from 77 to 79. Mm hmm So last year, he just said he had prostate cancer. I didn't even know that. Dang, you could tell I don't have no TV because I don't be knowing what's going on in the world. Oh, okay. The incident happened with Nicole. It was 1994. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'm talking around my words, not out of disrespect, but because there are... You got to be careful on YouTube with the words you use. Rest in peace to all involved. Because it was Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman in 1991. I mean, 94. Got to be careful about that. God, this man's Wikipedia page can be a whole movie. Like, the thing is scrolling, 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 scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. But it's so much going on in the world. Like, people is flipping out. Ooh. Now, this right here don't make no sense. This eyeliner, look how drippy it is. Come on now. Juvis play. We don't need this much drippy. Just imagine if I had to put that on my face. I would have had a dot everywhere, but... You know, I don't remember him being on Roots, but that's what his Wikipedia said. And I know one thing. A lot of you was not alive when Roots came out. I was. And I will not set up seven days and look at it again. <laughs> when Roots came out, Roots took seven days or five days. I don't know how many days it took. And if I'm not mistaken, it came out on regular TV. It was not, you didn't have to go to the movies to see this. It was regular TV. It just came on every day, every day. Somebody going to let me know whether here or in the comments, but I think it came out uh, on regular TV. It was like a series, a mini series. Seven day. And I have, I've never wanted to go back and look at it because who got that kind of time? Who got that kind of time? But a lot of our great 
entertainers, actors, thespians, whatever they want to call them, started out right there on roots. A lot of people. A lot. Or got their most exposure from being um, on roots. I got to go back and look at the um, Florida Evans. I've talked about her before, but I find her life so interesting. I got to get all the deets together because she died a millionaire. And um, I think she um, still had her estate in New York. She certainly did. But my time been blowing up my timeline. And check me out on uh, Instagram and um, TikTok. I'm Rich Roots all over. It's been blowing up with just like tragic news all week. All week has been tragic news. Now, my son lives in Missouri. They had a tornado right after the eclipse. New York had the earthquake after the eclipse. And then people just been off their rockers. I don't know what's going on. That's why I'm staying to myself. I ain't got time <laughs> to be caught up in the crossfire. <laughs> I ain't got time for it. But where y'all going this year on vacation? Is anybody taking any vacation? I have one plan next month. I'm going to see my grandchildren. I have two. I have one that's two and one that's six months. So I will be going out to Missouri, spending some time with them. And I got to plan another one because I have a timeshare that I need to use up. And I paid for it back in January and have not set any dates to go anywhere. And part of the issue is I have a dog and my daughter got a dog. So whenever we go on vacation, we try to do some somewhere we can drive to and take the dogs. I, I didn't know with the timeshare I would be able to do that. So I spoke to my mom the other day and she said, there are some timeshares where you can take your dogs. So I need to go online and schedule another trip just to have some fun. I looked at my PTO yesterday and I'm at 318 hours. Y'all, we max out at 320. We max out at 320. So... In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be losing the day. I gotta take my, t I gotta take some time off. <clears throat> I gotta take some time off. But <clears throat> I'm learning this new single way of life in my fifties. And normally, I've had to schedule vacations with a bunch of people and organize and do stuff like that but now i just got to block my schedule off and go somewhere so i may start small just for me getting out here for the first time one year for new year's i did go um what country was i mean what city was i in delaware pennsylvania i was on somebody's farm <laughs> <clears throat> they had an Airbnb on their farm and it was perfect because you could bring your animal. They had little um, hut in the morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. Me and the dog would walk outside. My dog got to be friends with their dogs. We would just walk through the farm out there. So we'll walk through the farm so the dogs could use the bathroom, come back in. It had kitchen and all that stuff. You could fix, you know, breakfast and all that stuff. It was lovely. It was lovely, and I stayed there for the New Year's, and every morning we did the same thing. We got up, I walked outside with the dogs and her dogs. 
I walked around the property. I mean, one room had a jacuzzi out back that was outside. It was just amazing to see all of the different little properties that they had on one property. It's like they had one big plot of land and they had about four or five different little huts and different houses on that land. And each house had a different little theme. So I would just walk around because for New Year's, not too many people decide to go to the woods. So I was in the woods and I was the only person there for a couple of days. And every now and then somebody would come for one day and leave. So I pretty much had, I stayed in three places on the property. <laughs> I sure did. I stayed in three places on the property. I started in one place. I stayed for two days. I moved to the to the main house. On the second floor, I stayed for one day. And then my last day, I stayed in another property on their property. It was interesting. I was all for it, though. Something new. And the more and more I think about that vacation, I did not leave that property. So I must have packed up food and everything for about three or four days just to do a reset. So... Oh, I got to plan some vacations. So anybody else planning any vacations? I have a friend just came back from a cruise. But I have been on at least eight or nine cruises. A cruise does not excite me anymore. <laughs> uh, I have been on a lot of them. I have went to every island in the Caribbean. So, yep, yep. I went to um, Tennessee for Thanksgiving this past year. Trying to be somewhere, something different. i never been to Tennessee before. So trying to do something new. But baby, let me tell you something. Driving up a mountain ain't no joke. Don't try to do it at night. <laughs> because, did I get there at night? It was scary. Let me say, it was scary. I'm not talking about what you think is a mountain. I'm talking about a one-lane road going around in circle. One lane. The road was so steep and so small, there were times I could not see what was in the front of my car. I had to assume the mountain turned this way. It was scary, okay? <laughs> scary. So, <laughs> I was driving like this. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> Please, God, let me hurry up and get there. Then when I got there, it was barely enough room for me to park the car on the side. And then there was a ledge. Yeah, a ledge. The house was beautiful. It was on the water, everything. Beautiful. I'll post a picture in my community. Gorgeous. But you are definitely, I was definitely on the side of a Tennessee mountain. <laughs> Something I had never done before. <laughs> mm, that sounds fun too. You know, I've seen the um, that people talk about um, train rides across the United States, doing like the seven days or ten days across the United States, and I've wanted to try that as well. To me, anything you could get on and you don't have to worry about for a while is my idea of a vacation. But when you have to drive to your vacation spot, stay in a hotel, drive all the way back, that ain't no vacation to me. That's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I appreciate y'all. I've been here for over an hour today. It is Friday. Don't forget to check out my declutter video. I did post it. I'm going to put it in the comments below. 
Um, we're going to hook up again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday for our 15 minute of live declutter session. So get your corner, get your closet, get your bedroom ready so we can declutter for about 15 minutes. I will see y'all on the next live. Peace, riches, and y'all be safe out there. Yep, it's your